Size the graft using the slotted sizing block. The tibial tunnel is created using standard techniques and can be done before or after the femoral tunnels are created. The preferred versatomic AM guide is placed through the anteromedial portal and positioned in the desired location. The acupin is engaged to identify the plane in which the pin should exit. The versatomic SMA flexible pin is then advanced through the AM guide and advanced to the lateral wall of the intercondylar notch. Note, recheck positioning of the guide to ensure placement has not been moved during introduction of the guide pin. The guide pin is then advanced in small increments until it exits out of the femur. Note, advancing the pin driver close to the guide helps prevent the flexible guide pin from wobbling during drilling and helps ensure solid advancement of the pin through the femur. Advance the pin until the line where color and finish changes from shiny to matte is flush to the intercondylar notch. Make a small nick at the lateral exit point of the pin and slide the outside in depth gauge over the pin until it meets the bone of the femur. The depth gauge reading is referenced to the very tip of the guide pin. After measurements have been taken, check the amount of flexible pin exiting the anteromedial portal to ensure the entire puzzle piece portion will be supported by the flexible pin. To ream the femoral tunnel through the anteromedial portal, reference the markings of the eccentric head. Insert the versatomic reamer over the guide pin with the single cutting flute away from the medial femoral condyle and PCL. Drill the femoral socket to the desired depth based on depth gauge measurement. After the desired tunnel length is reached, run at full speed up and down the pin for debris removal. To utilize the versatomic G-lock suspensory fixation, the tunnel must be reamed through the distal cortex with the 4.5 mm versatomic flexible reamer. Do not use excessive force with the small shafted reamers, 4.5 to 6.5 mm. Wait for the reamer to do the work. Once tunnel creation is complete, use the suture eyelet to pass suture through the femoral tunnel. Selection of G-lock loop size is determined using outside in depth gauge measurement and socket length. Utilize a loop retriever to grab the passing suture down through tibial tunnel. Insert the lead suture tails of the G-lock through the loop and pass the sutures. Using the G-lock lead suture, pull in the same direction as the femoral tunnel to pass the graft. Confirm the G-lock has flipped by pushing up and pulling down on the rod to feel the button lift up and seat back down on the cortex. Unscrew the rod for removal. Use one hand to lightly pull back on the handle while the other hand does two 180 degree turns. Tibial graft fixation is performed with a striker biostean interference screw.